Hello Abacus user. Welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, in today's session, we are going to discuss on how contact logic work for uh, Abacus standard solver. So we are uh, in Abacus Acumen, we shown couple of contact videos and uh, this particular short video is on how this contact logic work, how to read a contact file and how, how you can get more understanding on this contact. So right now on my screen what you see is a, a pipe bending problem which we done long back. This video is available on YouTube. So today we are not going to solve the problem but we will try to understand how the contact logic work in Abacus. So uh, typically we will have a brief introduction to a non-linearity. A different type of non-linearity available in mechanical engineering. Then we will have a Abacus standard contact logic. And then I'll show you how you can read the message file with the contact iteration and how you can identify it, how uh, contact will going to get converged or unconverged. So this logics will uh, talk. So before going into contact logic, uh, typically uh, you see a three types of nonlinearity in mechanical engineering when uh, simulation software all this talks about three nonlinearity. One is a geometrical nonlinearity, material nonlinearity and contact nonlinearity also it is called as a boundary condition nonlinearity so typically if you see the geometrical nonlinearity when your displacement is uh, nonlinear so if you see something like a fishing rod which is represented of a geometrical nonlinearity where actually the your displacement is no more a linear function to a force but it is a nonlinear function to the force and that's what you people we uh, all the time call is a geometrical nonlinearity material nonlinearity is very simple so most of this metal is obey the Hooke's law. So in case of metal, when the stress is proportional to strain, it is called a Hooke's law. And once the Hooke's law is after the yield stress, where the Hooke's law is not no more applicable, and that particular uh, thing is called as a material nonlinearity. In terms of metal, it is called plasticity. If you have polymer, then there is a nonlinearity uh, at each and every uh, uh, stress strain behavior is different. So you have a nonlinearity in the polymers, you have a rubber which is highly nonlinear and then uh, you have something like a creep which is a long term uh, behavior of the material which is also nonlinear. So you have, you can see a lot of nonlinear metal nonlinearity into the uh, nonlinearity section. And uh, today's session we are going to talk just on this uh, contact nonlinearity. It is called a boundary condition nonlinearity. Why it is called a boundary condition nonlinearity? Because your stiffness change with the contact. So if you take a typical example, you have a cantilever beam. You start applying force in the center. So as soon as you apply a force in the center, there is uh, this contact is not there. So once you apply the force, the stiffness is different. But once this contact happen here for a rigid block then it more become like a simply supported type of structure and then your contrast stiffness is different. And so that's the reason people also called is a boundary condition nonlinearity or contact nonlinearity. And this is only a brief introduction. We are going to have a separate video on this nonlinearity chapter which will be coming soon to uh, Abacus Acumen. So let's now get into more into this contact logic for Abacus standard. and. Uh, typically, uh, if you see uh, the, the the contact algorithm in Abacus standard is mainly built around a newton raphson technique and then newton raphson technique is again a mathematical technique to solve a lot of differential equation and the contact algorithm, algorithm in Abacus is built around this. So typically if you see, uh, uh, I'll just open one more uh, STA file for some solved problem. So this is uh, the status file where you see there is a at the start it is a zero iteration for severe discontinuity iteration and then you see equilibrium iteration then you see some five uh, severe discontinuity iteration and then equilibrium iteration. So how this um, severe discontinuity iteration we solved and how what is the contact logic that we are going to discuss. So right now on my screen you see a contact logic for Abaca standard. So it started with uh, begin increment. So it start with increment, then it determined what is the contact status. So is there any node which is getting in contact or any node which is not getting in contact or it is open. So it is getting away from the contact. So you get a two state node is open or node is closed. If node is open from the current contact status, Abacus actually remove the constraint on it. And if something is getting close, it apply a constraint. 
and then it perform a, a, a severe discontinuity iteration. So it start with a severe discontinuity iteration. Once it go to a severe uh, discontinuity iteration, so the, based on this status, it check is uh, is mainly it check is there any change in a contact? Now how actually Abacus understand if there is a change in the contact? So the, it check two things. One first thing it check if the contact pressure is less than zero or negative. That means a current node which is in closed condition is opening. So that way it understand that the contact pressure is less than zero or something is open or getting into contact then it called as a the penetration H. H is greater than zero. And once you uh, the abacus understand okay there is a penetration then it understand that it is the the point is getting close so then it uh, uh, it go to the point close uh, severe discontinuity iteration and then then it apply a uh, uh, apply a constraint there so similar like this also if something is opening it go to severe uh, severe discontinuity iteration and it go to a remove constraint. Uh, guys there is a typo we forgot to put an arrow here but then from this iteration it will go this and unless in the two iteration you see a same performance same contact stresses so, so so for example if there is a something like a two nodes open and say 10 node close and the same nodes is uh, condition is there in the two nodes open and 10 close then uh, it is called the severe discontinuity iteration is close and then it go to a check a equilibrium iteration now in equilibrium iteration we check summation of forces is equal to zero summation of movement is equal to zero and then we also put a displacement constraint equilibrium and if this is equilibrium is uh, achieved then it we say the end of the increment we get a converse solution in case you don't able to achieve this if the the equilibrium iteration is not achieved then again it will go to a contact a severe discontinuity iteration it will check whether there is a same contact stresses or status is change so if you see um, here suppose you have a two nodes opens and 10 close you go to uh, equilibrium iteration and if it go to the perform iteration and if it find that okay there are three opens and seven close then it is changed then it will perform this equilibrium iteration now we'll quickly go to the message file and i'll show you how we can really understand from this um, message file so now right now um, you see we are seeing at the uh, increment level 5 and some time increment 0 0.338 33 percent and then you see there is a 25 severe discontinuity occurred during this iteration and there is a 24 point close uh, to change from open to close and one point change from close and then it will go and check the severe discontinuity iteration and for this particular case it find that penetration is on higher side and the contact pressure or uh, the contact pressure is around some 11.04 raised to e. So what it found is a penetration is not uh, uh, the penetration tolerance is not achieved, and uh, that's where actually then it will do equilibrium iteration, and then then it will go to the second. Since it is not available, then you see earlier it was a 25, now it is a 23 severe discontinuity iteration. So three points are change from open to close, 10 point change from close to, and there are some sleeping. So again it will check that and uh, now in this case the 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 penetration tolerance was there but the contact force contact for force uh, whatever generated on one particular node is quite higher compared to a time average force so again it will do that it will start doing this iteration by iteration where it find the two contact status status same and that that particular thing it will uh, say the 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 contact is get converged and uh, uh, it will get so now now then it go to several things it got to two severe discontinuity iteration two points change uh, from close to open then it gone to check it found found that there is a average force was not uh, not uh, time average force is quite higher uh, contact force is higher compared to time average force it will again go to severe discontinuity iteration and then it find okay there is no issue with this so you see here the contact get converged and uh, that's where actually then you see a equilibrium iteration and uh, 
it again for this equilibrium iteration it goes and finally you see something like this so uh, it get converge in five severe discontinuity iteration and two equilibrium iteration so again going back it's just straightforward uh, it is built based on newton raphson technique uh, contact logic so you start begin step it will go and determine the contact status if it is open it will remove the constraint if it is a close it will apply the constraint then it will the perform the iterations so in the per, in the performance iteration it will find what is the open to close how much is there then it will go and check the change in contact status if something is which is close which is getting open or something is open get close then based on that logic if something is getting open then it find okay what is the contact pressure it is less than zero or negative then it go to severe discontinuity iteration points open it go to remove constraint and then perform iteration something is getting close it check what is a penetration if penetration greater than zero then it go to severe discontinuity iteration for the point close it apply the constraint and it perform the iteration so whenever it find in the performance iteration and check the change in uh, change in contact status if both are same so for example you have two open two close two open two close same nodes are uh, status there is no change in contact status then it say okay severe discontinuity iteration is get converged then it will go to the check equilibrium where it will check the equilibrium uh, status for the force and the movement equilibrium also the the displacement and rotation equilibrium if it doesn't find there is no converge then again it do a uh, perform iteration on the contact uh, iteration in case it is get converged then it will say end of the increment and then you'll see the the converge converge solution so something like uh, if i go back to message file you see something like this so equilibrium iteration for the increment 7 uh, there are total 7 which are the 5 severe discontinuity iteration and 2 2 are equilibrium iteration and then it is solved so uh, guys this was just brief on the contact logic uh, thanks for watching this video um, since this is a non-profit project we would like to have your support to take this project forward so don't forget to subscribe us or like us on the YouTube thanks bye bye and uh, I, I hope you like this video and you, you know, this particular contact logic help you in to take the abacus uh, as a solver forward thank you